let us begin with some kind of problems. Now here is a question in front of us that how much money is required to buy 500 shares at a premium of rupees 5 with a face value of rupees 10. We should first understand what is given. In all problems, we should first understand what is given. So, let us read the question. How much money is required to buy? How many shares? 500 shares. So, the first thing we note down is number of shares. Number of shares is 500. Next thing that these shares are to be bought at a premium. Now, do you recollect what is a premium? Premium means the market value is greater than face value. Okay. So, we are saying here that a premium is of rupees 5. And what is the face value given? The face value is rupees 10. So, after the number of shares, what is the another information given to us? Face value is rupees 10. So, and premium is given as rupees 5. So, what will be the market value of each share? What we know that premium, is when we say the share is at a premium, when its market value is greater than face value. How much it is greater? It is given that the premium is 5 rupees greater than the face value. So, market value is equal to face value plus the premium and which is equal to 10 plus 5 which is equal to 15. So, 15 is what? 15 is the market value of this share. Now, if this is the market value of the of one share and I want to purchase 500 shares, then what will be the total amount of money? So, the amount of money will be equal to number of shares that is 500 multiplied with 15 which is the market value of the share and 15 into 5 is 75 you can use your calculator to check so this is 7500 so what was the question the question was how much money is required to buy 500 shares at a premium of rupees 5 with a face value of rupees 10 the amount is equal to 7500 let us see another problem here the question is we, how much money is required to buy 600 shares. So, we are supposed to buy 600 shares and it is given that at a discount in the earlier problem it was premium and face value is given as rupees 100. Let us list down what is given to us. We are supposed to buy how many number of shares? So, number of shares to be bought is 600. What is the discount? amount discount amount is rupees 4 and what is the face value of each share face value is rupees 100 let us recollect that this discount means the market value is less than the face value by how much is it less it is less by rupees 4 so what will be the market value of each share it will be the face value minus the discount amount so, the face value is rupees 100, discount is 4, hence the market value is 96 rupees. And if I want to purchase 600 shares in which each share has a market value of 96 rupees, then the total amount of money I need to buy these num number of shares is 600 into 96 and uh, you can check it that 60, 600 into 96 is 57600. 57,600 is the amount which one need to have to purchase 600 shares at a discount of rupees 4 whose face value is rupees 100. Fine. Let us proceed. Again, let us read the problem carefully. There is a person Ramesh who has 250 shares of face value rupees 10. So, Ramesh has 250 shares face value being rupees 10. The company declares an annual dividend of 6%. Find the dividend received by Ramesh. So, we have to find the actual amount, how much, how many rupees this Ramesh has got. And the percentage of dividend is given. 
let us again recollect that dividend is always given on face value. So let us write down what is given. First thing is what is given is number of shares. You might be wondering why I am writing this symbol. Actually, you can write number N O also, but I am used to writing hash symbol. Anyways, number of shares is equal to 250. Face value of each share is rupees 10, and dividend is given as 6 percent. Fine. So very simple. Uh, first, we'll calculate that what is the total amount. Okay. So the total face value. This is a face value of each share. So what is the total face value of 250 shares? Because this person is holding all those 250 shares, right? So let us calculate what is the total face value it has. 250 shares into face value is rupees 10 per share. So the total amount of face value is 2,500. Now on this 2500 total face value, this person is getting 6% as dividend. So dividend is equal to 6% of 2500 which is 6 upon 100 into 2500 which is 6 into 25 which is 150 rupees. So Ramesh receives rupees 150 as the dividend. A company has issued 10,000 shares and the face value of each share is rupees 50. The total annual dividend declared by the company is rupees 50,000. In the earlier problem, we had the percentage of dividend given. Here, the actual amount of dividend is given as 50,000. What is the question asking us to find? What is the rate of dividend paid by the company. So like this some kind of twisting in the problem happens. In the earlier problem number of shares, face value and the rate of dividend was given. In this case number of shares, face value and the amount of dividend is given. So if I would like to compare with the previous problem, the left hand side is given here. What is unknown is this percentage and this value we can easily calculate. So let us do it once again. First write down what is given first thing to write down is how many number of shares. So number of shares is 10,000 zeros, okay, four zeros and face value is rupees 50. What else is given? Total dividend offered by the company is equal to rupees 50,000. What is asked? What is the rate of dividend? First, what will we do as in the previous case, we will calculate what is the total face value of 10,000 shares. So, number of shares that is 10,000 multiplied by face value of one share, so it is 50. So, total is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, right? So, 5 lakhs. This is the total face value. On this, some percentage of dividend was given and that amount was equal to 50,000. What will be the rate of dividend? Rate of dividend will be whatever dividend is paid into 100 divided by whatever was the total face value. So if I do that calculation, what this becomes? So the rate of dividend will be equal to 50,000 divided by 5 lakhs into 100. So that comes out to be equal to uh, 10, 10 percent. The rate of dividend is 10 percent. Suresh has 200 preferred shares. What was a preference share? Preference share was a share in which we get a fixed dividend. Then he also has 300 equity shares where the rate of dividend is fluctuating face value is rupees 20. If the dividend declared by the company on preferred shares is 15 percent and on equity shares it is 10 percent, find the total annual dividend received by the shareholder Suresh. So let us write down what this means. Number of shares, uh, in this case there are two types of shares. So preferred shares is 200 
and uh, equity shares is equal to 300. Face value is going to be same for both. So, face value is rupees 20. Difference is the percentage of dividend. So, dividend in case of preferred shares is 15 percent and uh, dividend in case of equity shares is how much percent? Uh, 10 percent. What we need to do? We need to calculate dividend separately for preferred shares and separately for equity shares and then just add up to get the total. So, what will be this dividend? So, dividend on preferred shares will be equal to 15 percent, 15 upon 100 of the total face value. What is the total face value? 200 into 20. There were 200 preferred shares and 20 was the face value. Similarly, dividend on equity shares will be equal to 10 percent of how many number of equity shares? 300. What is the face value? 20. So, if I calculate this, it comes out to be 600 here and it also comes out to be 600 here. So, what is the total dividend? Total dividend is 600 plus 600 that is 1200. We have just separately calculated dividend for preferred shares and separately calculated dividend for equity shares and then we have totaled it because that was the question find the annual dividend received by Suresh. Okay, one more problem and then we will take a break here. Okay, so Asha's Beauty World has issued 60,000 shares, face value of rupees 10 and the company has declared a total dividend of 72, right. So, this is a similar kind of problem, but still we will do it and uh, let us write down first the information which is given. So the information given here is how many number of shares Asha Beauty World has offered, issued 60,000. What is the face value of each share? The face value is rupees 10. What is the total dividend which the company has offered? The total dividend is rupees 72,000. Now, we have to find out what is the rate of dividend. This is a problem which is exactly like similar one. We can do it directly because now we are good in doing calculations, but in case still you get confused, you can look back the previous problem. So, rate of dividend is the total dividend paid or offered divided by the total face value of whatever number of shares is issued multiplied by 100. So, we have the total dividend is 72,000 divided by the total face value will be the number of shares 60,000 into the face value of each share this multiplied by 100. If I simplify all these things, so what is the rate of dividend? 12 percent. So, friends, let us go through these problems which we have done and I am sure that if you write down the information which is provided here in the problem first, then look at the formulas which are applicable and then do the computations. Then in these three steps, you can easily solve problems which are based on shares. In the next class, as I said, we will do some more problems related to some other aspects of shares and then we shall proceed to mutual funds. Thank you for watching the video.